Hi guys, in this video, I'll be discussing the problem find an integer from code shift starter 73 div 2. So let's get started with the problem. So the problem actually has a lot of info that's not required. So it's saying uh, it's, uh, it says that the chef has two nephews who love integers x and y and uh, like an integer n is awesome and all that stuff. So basically what they want us to do is that we are uh, we would be given with two integers x and y at the end what they want uh, they want us to tell an integer n such that n plus y is divisible by x and n plus x is divisible by y. So that's it. That's what they want, uh, want for the question. It's a pre pretty mathematical question. Uh, I don't know how much of you uh, how much of you solved it. I actually got stuck with some <coughs> wrong calculations. Yeah, but I was able to do it. But that took me some time. So the question actually is pretty simple. So what they're saying is that uh, we have to come up with the integer n such that n plus x modulo y equal to zero. So when they're saying like it should be divisible by y, this is what they mean. So if it's divisible by y, its mod would be zero. Also, n plus y modulo x should be equal to zero. Now what I can say is that if I have a number which can be, uh, so let's say if my n can be represented in the form ab minus x or ay minus x, right? So then my first equation would be satisfied because if I put ay minus x plus x mod y, mod y, so then it becomes ay, x exclude cancel out, mod y. This defi uh, since a is an integer it is, and is a multiple of y. So a by mod y is definitely equal to zero. So my first equation is satisfied. What about the second equation? So let let's say for my first equation, I had this a y minus x, right? So this was for my first equation. For my second equation, I'll write something like b x minus y. So let's try to say, uh, like check if that satisfies. So let me put b x minus y in place of n over here. So this will become b x minus y plus y mod x. So then this can cancel out bx mod x equal to zero right so yeah this is valid so basically we want these two numbers right <coughs> and since these both the numbers are equal to n so n is equal to this and n equal to that we can actually divide the two equation or equate them uh, like as as you like we can do anything so we'll get ay minus x is equal to bx minus y cool so then the uh, like if we write a y minus a y plus y like rearranging them so b x plus x we can take y common from here it would become a plus one we can take x common from that it would become b plus one and uh, we'll technically get y by x is equal to or let's say a plus one by b plus one equal to x by y right so that technically means that a plus one is equal to x by y to b plus one Right. or a is equal to b plus 1 into x by y minus 1. Okay, so we have this thing with us. So now, because we don't want anything in the denominator, let's say b plus 1 is some multiple of y, so let's call it f into y, right? So because we can assign any value to b, we are just concerned with a as of now. So let's assign any value to b, but it would be beneficial if we assign b plus 1 something, so that the it could cancel out y itself, right? So let's assign b plus one to be f into y. So we get a is equal to f into x minus one. Cool. So we got this equation now. So this actually is the most important thing over here. Once we have this, we can try to substitute the value in this equation that we initially got, right? So over here we can substitute a is equal to f into x minus y. <coughs> let's try to do that. So the equation we were having was that uh, n is equal to a into, let me see what the equation was, a into y minus x, right? Now I'll be equating this into this. So I'll get n is equal to f into x minus 1 into y. I hope this make uh, this is making sense. Right. Uh, minus 1 into y minus x. So this is the equation I'll be getting. Now what I need to do is that it is possible that this value turns out to be less than or equal to zero. But since we want the numbers to be positive, hence we'll try uh, try it with uh, different values of f, right? So I'll keep multiplying f. So I can say like f can be uh, like f itself, or f it I can replace it with two f or four f, up to so on. Till the time I'm getting something that is greater than or equal to one. 
that's because that's what i want so let's look at the code for this so yeah this is the like the solution you need let's look at the code code for this so the code is yeah so the code is over here that's exactly what i want what i have done so firstly i'm checking that if my value is uh, being less than or equal to 0 so this is the same value uh, over here, there i was actually mentioning uh, x and y but over here it's n and m the thing remains the same you can actually interchange the variables after that i'm saying that if it's less than 0 then i need to multiply it by something at least right so if it's less than 0 then i'm incrementing my x rather than doing a, a linear incre increment for f what i'm doing is i'm just multiplying f by uh, f uh, like by itself so i'm taking powers so it would be like initially my f is set to 2 then it would be 2 4 8 16 basically the power of 2 as soon as it becomes greater than greater than a 0 i'll print out that value else if it was already greater than uh, greater greater than uh, greater than 0 then i'll simply print out this value so it was uh, just uh, like two three lines of code if you want you can actually reduce it further you can remove this statement totally and then start from here this would also be valid logic like okay cool so this also would work because they were not asking for the minimum n possible they were just asking for the n uh, any n possible right so this also is a valid uh, valid answer now you can see over here that uh, it's hardly taking uh, i guess three or four lines like uh, rest is for the input itself so it's hardly taking three lines but still it took, it took me a long time i was actually doing some uh, mistake in the calculation so whenever you're doing such questions uh, where you have a hint like mathematics would be involved it's best to uh, like take a pen and paper try to solve it try to come up with the equation once you're sure about it double check that if you are doing a mistake or not because what i was doing is that uh, like subtract when i was subtracting one i was subtracting it after like before the multiplication itself hence the answer was getting wrong so yeah that that would be uh, be my advice whenever you are having such a question always you know uh, try to take your time and write up the correct uh, expression for that and then solve it so yeah that's it for this video if you uh, found the, uh, found this interesting let me know if you have any doubts still let me know in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to answer them thanks a lot guys